Well, good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Greetings from Lago Pueblo. Back in nature. Back in nature. Today yeah. we are on a day trip from El Bolson. We came to Lago Pueblo to spend the day. Yeah. We actually booked a little boat trip. We did. It's going to happen in the middle of the afternoon mm -hmm. at 3 p.m. But we're here at roughly 11 in the morning. So yeah. that gives us plenty of time to hike, kind of appreciate the scenery on its own. Yeah. And guys, let me tell you, there isn't a cloud in the sky. The visibility, like perfect. it couldn't be better today. Literally perfect. And you know what's pretty cool about today's boat trip is that we're going to be going to the border with Chile. Chile. Ooh, we won't be crossing over, but we'll be at the border. Wave hello. Wave hello. Come and back. Yeah, it's going to be fun. First up, let's talk about transport because even though we're doing a boat tour in the afternoon, we had to make our own way to Lago Pueblo and we yes. did so using the bus. We did. And it went well. <laughs> it went so well. So the name of the company, it's called Lago Londrina. You can yep. see it right there. And it leaves from El Bolson, from the center of town, Avenida San Martin, which is the main avenue. Yep. Um, the price is 26 pesos if you're going to Lago Puelo, the town. Yep. 30 pesos if you're coming into the lake, into the park. Right. So you're talking like 75 uh, US cents to come yeah. into the lake and even a little bit 60 something to come into town. Yeah. Also, something to point out is that the, the bus driver did have change, so you don't need to have an exact yes. fare which is nice. That's Sometimes very you rare. Do. Yeah. And what was the most interesting thing about the journey we had to, we had to change? So we had to switch buses yeah. because the town of El Bolson is in the province of Rio Negro mm -hmm. and the lake is in the province of Chubut. Back in so Chubut. The bus stopped at the border. We yeah. all had to get off and yeah. get on a separate bus also run by the same company. Yeah. And then we continued on our way. Obviously, drivers from different provinces. Yeah, clearly. That, at, at least that's what we think. Pretty cool. Oh, we, we didn't mention it was about a 40-minute trip. Yeah, we think it maybe minutes. took 40 minutes. The thing is, we were admiring yeah. the scenery <laughs> and really enjoying the ride, so exactly. we were keeping track of time. I just remember we arrived shortly before 11, and the bus picked us up shortly after 10. So that's go. about 40 minutes. Another cost to mention is entering the park, Lago Puelo National Park. The price for foreigners is $8 and someone from the park comes on board the bus and charges you the fee. Or if you're coming by car, you pay right at the entrance. We are currently on a little walk through the forest. These trees are something special. They are called Arradanes or Arrachanes, <laughs> if you're going for the Argentine accent. And look at the color of the, the bark. The tree trunks are like a reddish orange color, almost a bit coppery. It's pretty cool. We start hiking we figured we're gonna yeah. need some if, food if, because if, if you, you know, know if you know us it should come as no surprise yeah there's like a little food stand with sandwiches they have fried cakes which is kind of like a donut yeah artisanal beer chocolates chips candies that kind of thing all your munchy needs basically yeah. and they have these lovely yeah salami cheese so we each got one we each got one and we also got a, a cold water because we yeah. only had um i only had enough water to fill up one water bottle so we each have not our own now for the day definitely not enough so in terms of pricing the sandwiches were around three bucks right and then the water was one dollar this is going to be our sustenance for the day looks tasty Does bread look feels fresh fluffy how is it oh, perfect <laughs> it's gonna fortify us for the mm -hmm. walk <laughs> I'm surprisingly hungry, oh. even though we just left home. The word surprise and hungry when it comes to you is uh, is, is a little bit hard, a bit of a stretch, let's just <laughs> say that. Mm -hmm. 
redhead in the wild. This is the time of day when Samuel must strip and begin applying sunscreen. Oh my, otherwise the redhead suffers. He burns, he peels, he screams. Oh my, the sun is attacking me. Huh? Huh? We have chosen a trail. We sure have. Nice to get a little bit of shade too. It's really warming up this afternoon. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this one is called Mirador del Lago Pueblo, which mm -hmm. means Lago Pueblo's lookout point. Yeah. So it's gonna be steep. It's gonna be upwards. Yeah. They, but they said it was intermediate on the yeah, list. Yeah, intermediate thing. fitness. It's gonna take 40 minutes. Uh, it's 940, no, 950 meters long, yeah. and there's also I forget the, the <laughs> ascent. We but are any, ascending. Anyways, it's 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 kind of a perfect way for us to spend this time because we still have like two hours and 20 minutes before our boat ride. Yeah. And so we'll do this. We'll probably get back down, check out the beach a bit more, maybe have another bite, and yeah, that's our hike. Already getting some cool views of the lake. So guys, we've just reached this little info point and I have learned something new. Here it says, a forest is a community of trees where the majority belong to one or two species. And a jungle has numerous species where it's a bit more difficult to distinguish which ones are more abundant than others. I had no clue. I always thought forest is more like pines, you know, those type of evergreens and that a jungle was more tropical. So, new bit of information there. Maybe you guys learned a little something new too. Those layers, those layers are coming off. What's going on? <laughs> Sun's coming out. We're gaining altitude. And uh, yeah, you gotta dress for all seasons when you come to this part of the world. I mean, it's literally really cold in the morning. It's warm by like late morning and it's hot by afternoon. Well, this is a very nice part of the trail. We're in the middle of the forest. Temperatures are much cooler. We're crossing a little creek and it's just so green. Ah, oh, this is really nice. I'm so glad we came out today because it's meant to be a lot hotter these coming days. This area is experiencing a bit of a heat wave. So it really is the perfect day to be out. Look at all this moss growing on the trees, on the stones. We're back. We're back. We're back. We have come to the end of the trail, back where we started, and it is snack time. It's snack time, it's not just time snack. It's time for blackberries. Yeah. There are lots of moras. Uh -huh. There's a plant called sarsa mora, which I recognize because, I mean, we even have this in Cordoba. Oh, so where much I grew nice up. coming down, too. Just gotta add that. Oh, yeah, walking downhill <laughs> walking in downhill. the shade. Beautiful. What a difference. 
but let's pick some berries to munch on. So, sarsamora, horrible prickly plants. It has thorns, <laughs> it hurts you. Even the leaves scratch you, but the fruit is wonderful. This is called mora. You know they're ready when they've turned black. Mm. So sweet. Forest berries. Mm. Lovely blackberries. So this is what they make jams out of? Yes, you can use it for jam, cakes, juice. Oh. You can eat it in fruit salads, just blackberries and whipped cream. Oh. It's really nice. But as you've seen, the plant, it's horrible. It's considered a bit of a pest because it Overtakes. just grows and spreads and it yeah. kills all other vegetation around it. Yep. But good berries. <laughs> the berries are worth it. Is it big and sweet? Picnic time! Picnic lunch. So we got very lucky. We found a food stand that was making hamburgers. Yep. And these are some massive the burgers. They've got ham yeah. and cheese, lettuce, tomato, Ooh, I see. mayo, mustard, ketchup. And that's a regular and a regular burger patty as well. Regular beef burger patty. Whoa. It's in there somewhere. Dessert, of course, a corn starch alfajor with yeah. dulce de leche and coconut for Sam. Got a little lemon scone. Yeah. Gatorade. Gatorade. And I found some artisanal, artisanal beer. beer. Rojo. Cheers. The guy poured it right from the straight from the tap. Nice. Gotta love it, man. So yeah, we've got about 30 minutes before the bus departs. The bus. The boat. <laughs> the the boat. boat. The aquamobile. The, the, the bus of the sea. Bus of the sea. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna eat and be on our way. All aboard. All aboard the train, y'all. No, just kidding, the boat. We keep uh, calling it buses, trains. The floating train. The floating train. But yeah, I mean, it's just gonna be incredible. I've just slathered on some more sunscreen. The sun is out in full force. It's just gonna be a beautiful ride. Yeah, and we're views. about to board. Oh, I can't wait. porque acá también se empieza a producir un cambio de bosque. Venimos observando lo típico de la cordillera argentina, que es el bosque andino patagónico. Well guys, we are now on land beginning the hiking portion of this tour. The boat ride was about 50 minutes, just under an hour. And now we're going to be hiking about two kilometers through the Valdivian forest until we reach the border with Chile. Pretty cool. You can actually hike from Argentina to Chile if you're doing like a camping trip, bringing all your own equipment, your own supplies. And of course you bring your passport, do passport control along the way, but it can be done on foot. Mm. 
Now, checking out some rapids. Oh my. nearly got left behind and lost our group because we wandered off in search of shade and next thing we notice everyone's gone and we're like you know what that clapping we heard earlier was probably trying to gather the group that's us we're the missing duo oh my we're the last drag list. So we are back from that little boat excursion. Yeah, that was, that was phenomenal. I mean, mm -hmm. the trip itself was great. The weather was even better. The views, you can't beat that. And it just, it was such cold water. It's like, you, you even fell asleep on the way there. I did, on the way there, on the way yeah. back. You guys know me, siesta so, time on boats. So much fun hiking and, you know, technically going to Chile. Mm -hmm. yeah, without our passports. No stamp to prove it, but <laughs> no, yeah. tiptoed over the line. Yeah, we have a sign to prove it. And we're just cooling down with a, a local drink. It's called um, Paso de los Toros Pomelo, which is like a grapefruit kind of soda. So refreshing, sweet, sour. Yeah, just overall, like an incredible day here at Lago Puelo, huh? Yeah, and now we're just waiting for the bus. Apparently it's passing by every 30 minutes now, so it yeah. shouldn't be too, too In long. Increased frequency. I guess there's increased frequency early in the morning and around this time of day. Yeah. But other parts of the day, it's on the hour, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall, an incredible day trip. I mean, if you're staying in El Bolson, you absolutely have to come here. It's so close, and it's just like, it's, it's a slice of tranquility. Mm -hmm. 